conversion on the marginal rate of technical substitution. So you're going to see on the board a white line, that's an isoplot. It's going to tell us all the different combinations of labor and capital that can make 100 baseball cards. Now, notice there's different combinations. Maybe it's 10 units of labor and 4 units of capital. Maybe it's 6 units of labor and 12 units of capital. The marginal rate of technical substitution is going to let us know at a particular point if you want to keep the same output, how would you need to readjust your ratio of labor and capital? So, to do is we take this derivative, the one of the rate of change of capital due to the rate of change in labor. And when we do that, we will get this tangent line, which you'll see in purple, and we'll give us a number. In this case, we have negative three. What the negative three tells us is that if we were to get one more unit of labor, we could get rid of three units of capital and still produce 100 baseball cards. Or, if we want to get rid of one unit of labor, it would take three units of capital in addition to what we're already using to still produce 100 units of baseball cards.